Hey guys, in this video I'll go through the best tough setups for every team. Hey guys, I'm Uncle Mish and I'm doing hat-trick content on my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to go through the best tough setups for every team. If you are old timers, you do remember other times when we had a different kind of stuff. You could hire up to 10 coach assistants or 10 form coaches. If you are really veteran in Hattrick, you do remember the time you could hire up to 255 medics to heal your players almost instantly. But currently, we do have a four man staff. And just to understand this, you know that uh, each and every staff member have their skill level and he will contribute um, in comparison to his skill level. The staff size is up to four and you could hire and fire your staff members. Uh, if you'll break their contract um, in the middle, you'll probably have to pay them compensation. But if you'll have them on a long-term contract, you will pay them half as much as you would pay them uh, for one week and that's really profitable. So you could hire up to four staff members, but you actually have six different staff members you could hire. And the best configuration for is different for every team. It depends on what you really want to do, if you are training or if you are very competitive. So let's just talk about each and every staff member and then I'll tell you what's the best configuration for every situation. Coach assistant. Coach assistant that's the bread and butter of training. If you don't hire any coach assistants, you will not gain any training speed bonus. But your players will still suffer an injury risk and that's for everyone at about 40%. Uh, if you'll have a higher skilled um, coach assistant, each and every one of them could um, speed up your training up to 70.5% and having to level 5 coach assistant will speed up your training by 35%. That's incredible if you are training focused. They will um, increase your injury risk by 12.5% for each and every one of them and also will uh, increase your average form of your team by quarter of a level and that could be pretty interesting and important as well. So basically that's the coach assistant. You could hire up to two coach assistants and that's the only role that you could hire two of the same staff members. For the next one it will be the medic and the medic is almost a must for any kind of team. So having no medic at all will give your players no recovery speed bonus and also will keep the injury risk for any player playing at 40%. If you'll have a level 5 medic, he will increase your recovery speed by 100%. Your players will recover twice as fast and also he will lower the injury risk by 37.5%, the injury risk for your players will be 2.5% for playing. That's very important both for a focused training team and for a very competitive team. Next one will be the sport psychologist. Sport psychologist is a staff member that increases your team spirit by half a level. That means that every time that your team spirit is too high, it will get down slower and if your team spirit is very low, it will increase higher. So on average, your team spirit will be higher and also he will increase your confidence by one level. And having a very uh, high confidence is important to generating attack ratings. The sports psychologist is a very important staff member for competitive teams. If you are training focused, you should probably not hire him at all. A form coach. 
So a form coach will increase the background form of your players by a level. It doesn't necessarily mean that you will not have bad form at all. You will have it because there are there is a random factor to it. But having a um, average form higher by one level is super important and generally will let your players be in a higher form for longer periods of time. So having a form coach is important for competitive teams. It's not that important for focus training teams, but if you are a team that training players for under 20 and national teams, and if your players are going to get into the under 20 team or the national team or already there, you should definitely have a form coach because even if your team is not competitive, your player should really have a very high form. The financial director. Well, basically, this staff member is only for the richest teams in Hattrick. What does he do? So, if you don't have a uh, financial director, you could have up to 75 million NIS in your max fund, that 25 million euros. And also, if you have more than this amount of money and you do have some money stored in your cash reserve, you will get up to 50,000 uh, euros every week flowing from your cash reserve to your fund. Um, if you have less than uh, 25 million euros and your funds correctly. But that's a very slow rate that you will recover your money from your reserves. And you will probably have to wait years, human years and not hat trick seasons before you can use this money and buy a player, let's say. So having a financial director will do two things. He will increase your re return per week by uh, tenfold and you will be able to pull half a million euros from your uh, reserve to your max fund every week. That helps uh, pretty pretty uh, well. Uh, still, I, ha I think with the market nowadays they should increase the return even, even more, but that's better than nothing. And also it will keep your max found higher by 10 million euros. You will have up to 35 million euros uh, available to spend. And that's very important if you're uh, going to go to the transfer market searching for players to buy. But again, only for bridge teams. The tactical assistance. Well, the tactical assistance, if you don't have it at all, it won't help you at all. But if you have a level five training assistant, it will do two things. It will give you more match orders, up to five more match orders. And also it will, it will allow you to change your style of play. This means if you have a neutral coach, and basically the neutral coach doesn't influence your defense and attack ratings in the matches. But having the tactical assistant, it will uh, give you the option to play 55% more defensively, increasing your defense rating and lowering your attack ratings, or vice versa, increasing your attack ratings and lowering your defense rating. It basically gives you half the ability of a defensive or an offensive Coach. If you do have an offensive coach, you could play 100% uh, more defensively. That means that you will probably be able to play like with a neutral coach. So th that's basically it. That's what the tactical assistant does. And let's say there are some situations you could use it. It's only for very competitive teams and you do have to remember if you are using it and you are tr uh, starting to play with the defense attack ratios, you do suffer an effect. Um, if you are increasing your defense, you will uh, lose some attack. So if you are a very well balanced team, maybe you don't need this tactical assistant. But in some situation, uh, it's good. Let's say you are playing against a long shot team. You don't have, you don't need defense at all. But using tactical assistant to increase your attack. Ratings could help you win or if you are playing against an attack heavy team with no defense whatsoever You don't need any attack ratings. So using the tactical assistant to increase your defense 
could help you in this matter. Uh, having more match orders could help as well. Let's say you are starting with a well-balanced formation, but in case of a lead, you really want to swap to a more defensive formation. But if you consider gold, you want to swap to a more offensive formation. If you don't have any um, uh, assi uh, tactical assistant at all, you could use only five match orders, but having a level five tactical assistant will allow you to have up to 10 match orders per game. Again, only for very competitive teams. And that's basically it. That's all the staff members that you could have. So now let me show you my graph for the best staff setup for everyone. So in the extremes, you could have a training based team and you could have um, super competitive teams. And wait a second, I will increase this like this. Okay, so let's start. A training only team. It's a team that you only want to focus on training, you don't care about competitive. Uh, play at all. You don't care dropping uh, leagues and losing all the time as long as you are improving your players. In this case, you should have two level five assistant coaches and one medic because you want to uh, maximize your training and lower your injuries. If you are training like this, but also going to get a player of yours into the under 20 team or the national team, just add up a form coach as well. I will, um, yeah, wait a second. Disappear for a moment just to show you what you should do in new teams. So in new teams, you still wanna focus on training, but maybe you don't have the same amount of money like you have in a more veteran team. So you can't allow yourself to have a level five st uh, staff members. So just use a level three or level four staff members. Again, two coach assistant and one medic. And let me appear as well. So what's happening in the transitional period? So between the training only, when I think you're probably training 17 to 23 year old players, you wanna play a little bit more competitive. Your players have higher skills. You are able to climb up some uh, leagues and also you want to be a little bit more competitive. The best fourth staff member you could probably use in this uh, matter is the sports psychologist because um, hopefully you'll have a nice form. A sports psychologist will increase your team spirit and your competence in average and this will allow you to be much more competitive because form coach have a random factor and he will not always help you. You will not always uh, benefit from a for form coach, but you will always benefit from a sports psychologist and it will allow you to win more games. Still, you will have two assistant coaches and one medic just to maximize your training. But what happens when you're going full competitive and you really want to win everything? compete for the cup, for the championship, maybe go to the masters and you are training well-trained players already, 28-year-old players and higher. So one medic is a must. You can't allow your players to get injured in the game. So you should hire a level five training a medic. Also a level five sports psychologist. You want to maximize the confidence and team spirit and that will allow you to win more games and also basically a form coach. When you are super competitive, you want your players at their best form and there's no other way than a form coach. For the fourth staff member, you have a choice. You could go for the uh, rich setup. This means if you have a lot of money and I mean like a lot of money and it's still kept up in the reserve, Maybe you should use a financial director because having always money flowing into your cash fund and liquidating this money could help you buy more players uh, regularly and increase your squad. Then, if you want to be 
um, have use a more tactical approach, you could use a tactical assistant. A level 5 tactical assistant, as we said, will give you more match orders and allow you to play more flexibly between defense attack ratios. And my favorite is the balanced team setup, staff setup. This means that on top of the medic, sports psychologist and form coach, you are adding one assistant coach. The assistant coach will give you some uh, training speed, which is still nice. For 29, 30, 31 year old players, they are still benefiting from training. But also remember one small little factor. The assistant coach will give you uh, 0.25 increase on your average form. This means you will get slightly more form, positive uh, form for your players and average and this could help you be more competitive as well. So that's my suggestions for best stuff setup. Hope you enjoy it and hope this will help you configure uh, the best setup for you. If you have other ideas, I would love to hear them. Just comment in the um, comment section below. You could like and subscribe the video. And just remember, Patrick is more in the game. It's a community. And I'll definitely see you around.